Service Center Corporation and the Pranic Healing Foundation of the Philippines. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass the third Sunday of Easter with the theme, Lord, we touch you today. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word Chapel of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Bell San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, and our televiewers, uh, welcome to our Mass. And uh, let us uh, always remember that uh, every morning, is always a blessing from the Lord. And uh, that is why we pray to our Lord uh, in this Mass as we begin our celebration of uh, the third uh, <clears throat> uh, Easter Sunday. Let us uh, now pause for a moment to think of our failings and our sins and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. Almighty God, have mercy on us and uh, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 
Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, that uh, rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. 
A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not only for our sins, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recommended and recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do you question arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see because the ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and any prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scripture. And he said to them, thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead and on the third day that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, for our reflection in this uh, uh, gospel read, well, um, you know, this is the third apparition of our Lord Je Jesus Christ, and uh, uh, that... Uh, our Lord uh, really wanted to tell the people that uh, He really rose from the dead. Siya po ay nabuhay 
At uh, uh, siya po ay yung pinangako niya na siya ay mabubuhay ay nangyari. Alam niyo po, very important ito sa uh, atin uh, at siyempre sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Why? Because if uh, Jesus Christ had not uh, uh, risen from the dead, then there would be uh, uh, no need for us to suffer. Uh, then they, they would be uh, use, uh, useless uh, and no meaning at all to why we are here in this world. So, uh, sabi nga nung isang manunulat na if um, Christ did not uh, rise from the dead, then in vain, uh, walang saysay ang ating mga panalangin at uh, uh, tayong lahat ay uh, uh, we eat and drink and then tomorrow we die, no more. Wala na. But our Lord Jesus Christ is showing to us when He uh, rose from the dead that uh, He really uh, rise and uh, with uh, uh, His uh, hands He showed that uh, He was really uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, who had uh, shown this, these uh, scars on the uh, body on, on here on this side. And uh, tignan ninyo ako, sabi niya, na ako ay uh, uh, naghirap at ako ay uh, pinako sa krus at uh, Pagkatapos ng tatlong araw ay nabuhay ako na muli. So, dear brothers and sisters, dito makikita natin ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay totoong Diyos. At yung mga ipinako, pinapangako niya ay nangyari ngayon. So, uh, what is uh, the uh, what is uh, the uh, meaning of this in our life? Therefore, alam nyo, um, uh, <clears throat> kami mga halimbawa kami mga pare o nagpapare, no? Ay uh, um, may mga nagsasabi na Bakit pa kayo nagpapare, ano? Uh, hindi ba malungkot yung uh, buhay pare, sa, sabi ng mga iba. And then, um, <clears throat> then they uh, also say that, uh, uh, why did you enter such a very difficult uh, life? Uh, and you're not uh, married, wala kayong asawa, no? And then somebody said, Hey, Father, hindi pwede nang mag-asawa ang mga pare, no? Ha? Ano? Mag-asawa ang mga pare? Uh, bakit mo sinabi yan, no? Kasi pwede na, Father. Pero, sabi niya, mayroon dalawang, uh, <coughs> mayroon dalawang kondisyon. Ano yung mga conditions? Uh, una, sabi niya, pagka uh, 85 years old na yung pare, no? Ayan ako, malayo pa ako ng konti, ano? Pero sabi ko, ano, 85 years old, ano? Kaya ano ang ikalawa? Father, yung ikalawa ay uh, kailangan ang parental consent. So, ang ibig sabihin, sabi niya, ay kailangan yung uh, uh, consent ng mga magulang. Well, pero at 85 and above, syempre, hindi na po pwedeng... Uh, 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 wala na po yung mga magulang. Um, my dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> alam ninyo, I, um, that is what we call the vow of poverty also or chastity ng pare ay uh, 
hindi po sila uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, uh, marriage uh, because you know if uh, the missionaries or um, priests are uh, go to different places in order to uh, be a missionary mas mahirap pa uh, yung mas mahirap silang pumunta sa mga liblib na lugar uh, para sila ay magmisyon now um, um, kami rin po ay yung tinatawag na vow of uh, poverty anong ibig sabihin yon vow of poverty na kami ko ay uh, hindi po uh, according to that vow that we we do not uh, uh, we do not have salaries wala kaming sweldo ano uh, uh, siguro may nagsabi sa akin father ibig niyo sabihin wala kayong pera o meron kaming pera pero itong pera ay kuan lamang po allowance ano for example 5000 uh, pesos a month ay eh, ano ba naman yung 5000 pesos a month no pero ito rin ay parte po ng buhay ng isang uh, pare who is uh, uh, really with the vow of chastity and with the vow of poverty pero yung kung ta- kami po ay may trabaho or profession and we uh, help in the seminary or in the college well ano ang gagawin doon sa salary niya father well yung sweldo niya ay ibibigay sa treasurer where the school or where the parish is uh, there and that is used by uh, the congregation or society like society of the divine word the jesuits the dominicans and uh, the uh, uh, other congregations but it is also true my dear brothers and sisters of married people or couples that uh, yes their happiness in getting married but there are also also difficulties there are also uh, sorrows but of course there are also joys you know and sometimes it is difficult with the husband and wife to get along well with uh, their uh, with them uh, with themselves and uh, sometimes marami mga uh, paghihirap ano buhay din ng mga mag-asawa kaya nga yung sinasabi ko palagi na nung ako may bibinigan ay uh, <coughs> Uh, nung makita ko sila after three years, then sabi ko, uh, kumusta kayo? Uh-huh. And sabi niya, because they were always happy. And uh, the husband said, well, Father, uh, okay naman kami, happy naman kami. Ano? Uh, alam mo, Father, uh, hindi ko alam na mayroon palang uh, tatlong sing-sing or three rings uh, Uh, palagi kong sinasabi po ito. Uh, sabi ko, ano ba yung mga three rings? Sabi niya, Father, yung isang ring ay uh, engagement ring. And then, ang ikalawang ring, na naman wedding ring, ay ano yung ikatlo? Tumatawa po yung, yung, yung lalaki. And sabi niya, Father, kung may suffering... Siguro ito ay mga experience ng mga married uh, couples dito. No, si Brian, no? uh, Ibi, and Jong, of course, uh, here. Uh, no? And uh, I don't know with the uh, uh, still young. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are ups and downs in married life. Amen? But uh, really, that is all part of uh, married life. And that is why, my dear brothers and sisters, If we persevere also, just like we, the uh, priests, uh, persevere in our life in 
keeping, for example, the commandments of God, honor thy father and your mother, or thou shalt not steal, uh, thou shalt not commit adultery, do not uh, kill, and do not lie. Ano ito ang mga kagustuhan ng ating Panginoon? And if uh, later on, when we pass away from this life to the next life, then we will also receive the happiness, the heavenly reward, and always to think that uh, they, we will rise also from the dead. And not only to stay in our cemeteries or columbariums, but we will also rise to the next life and receive our heavenly reward. May somebody said, to paraphrase our Lord's words, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but suffers the loss of his own soul and also his family? So, uh, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, what does a man profit if he gains the whole world but suffers the loss of his family or even his soul. So in ending, my dear brothers and sisters, sana huwag ninyong, uh, huwag ninyong kalimutan yung sinabi ni St. Paul at sinabi niya, if we suffer and die with Christ, then we will also rise in his resurrection. Amen. Let us uh, now <coughs> pray the profession of faith. I believe in, in God, God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, and, died, and was buried, and descended, descended into, into hell, hell on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our whole life should bear witness to the truth that we are saved by Jesus' death and resurrection. Aware of our inadequacy to do so, let our response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the entire church, under the guidance of its leaders, we never grow weary of proclaiming the resurrection and bear witness to it. We pray, Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us, that all those who suffer may find in the resurrection of Christ the surest source of consolation and hope. We pray, Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us, us that those who doubt the reality of Christ's resurrection may be helped to believe by the exemplary life of all the faithful, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. That all the victims of natural calamities and human violence may experience the concrete support of all those who believe in the resurrection of Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord, graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. That all of us who are gathered here to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord may experience its life-giving power in our daily activity. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. For the family thanksgiving prayer of Malu Akawili, Maria Cristina Samano, Claire Esguera, Nemesio Alvarez, Ramel Robles, Liwaiwai, Dean, and Alvin Mascardo, 
Candido and Eloisa Pua, and Redoblado family. Healing for Dennis and Linda Redoblado, Stella and Gerardo Canlas, Lito Meneses, Edwin and Alexander Agawin Jr., Jean and June Hara, Lito Meneses, John J. del Castillo, and Edna Rivera Cruz. Eternal repose for the souls of Dominador, Deborah, Gaudencio, and Ruth Cabatu, Juan, Nilda, Rina, and Vicente Sr. Redoblado, Alberta and Mateo Macasaet, Cesar, Liberato, and Rosita Meneses, Florentina and Manolo Santa Maria, Flora May Quinto, Victor Kaiser and Renato Nievera. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. Jesus, help us to overcome the deadly effects of our sinfulness and to become signs of your resurrection to all our brothers and sisters, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such a great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by uh, commending himself to you or for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. 
therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You were indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us uh, worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here, and those uh, who are uh, with us in the live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. So now let us uh, pray the Lord's Prayer. And again, let us put to heart the, um, <clears throat> the uh, message of our Lord. Forgive, if you forgive your enemies, then your heavenly Father will forgive you either. So now let us say and pray. <laughs> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Now, dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, pray for peace in the world, peace between Ukraine and Russia, uh, the peace uh, between uh, uh, Israeli and the Palestinians, and also uh, in other uh, 
places and including also that there be peace and not war uh, between uh, China and our country, the Philippines. So now let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters, peace. Peace be with you, peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. For the unity of the family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them, and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. 
instill in children such, such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mystery may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> so, brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> let us... Uh, now um, acknowledge uh, those who have to be acknowledged and uh, also some announcements and uh, appeal for our Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship Program. So I would like to acknowledge uh, the Rector of uh, Christ the King Seminary, Father Glenn uh, Gomez, SVD, and uh, the commentator, Mr. Daryl Ibarra, over here. So, Daryl. Then, mm. uh, lector Natin, si Sister Joe Ragos. Thank you, Mr. Thanks to our sponsors, our donors, and benefactors. To our televiewers, um, not only uh, those who are viewing uh, in our country, but also uh, uh, internationally, then uh, every uh, Thursday at six o'clock in the evening, um, I um, <clears throat> I do the uh, uh, Saint Jude to the Use Novena Mass, and this is every Thursday, six o'clock uh, in the evening, the Novena to Saint Jude. And then for Adapt Seminarian Scholarship, um, you may uh, <clears throat> send your donation uh, or help uh, bank, Banco de Oro, and then account number 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, um, 0, 0, 5, 1, 6, 2, 3. And uh, account name, Father Isabella San Luis. Then uh, email bellsvd at gmail.com. Then we are also uh, asking you, my dear brothers and sisters, to help our uh, seminarians in their schooling. At ito po ay sa pamamagitan ng uh, pagbenta po ng rosary, magnetic rosary. Um, ay uh, binibenta namin sa inyo at uh, dito sana ay uh, tulungan ang ating mga seminarista yung kinikita namin ay pupunta sa scholarship ng mga seminarians. So, um, nandito po yung uh, sample ng uh, um, magnetic rosary bracelet so, uh, po at um, ito po ay uh, yung sinasabi ko na uh, this is uh, different kind of uh, rosary bracelets because it's made of uh, magnets at alam nyo po ay uh, ito ay hindi lamang for prayer the ro of the rosary but also ito po ay uh, uh, nagpapasigla ng ating gatawan because of the blood circulation uh, dahil sa magnets so um, the uh, one who is in charge of this ay uh, si Alvin Espiritu. Siya po ang uh, in-charge uh, dito. At um, ang kanyang cell phone number, 0945-3057-6220. So, that is it. And uh, also for appeal for Family TV Mass, for love offerings and intentions, 
You may send your prayer, thanksgiving, healing, good health, financial recoveries, and blessings, and others. At um, ang email po uh, namin ay mcfisvd at gmail.com. So contact person for here and uh, the, the seminarians is uh, Brian and Deguito. 0961-811-8766. So, uh, si uh, <clears throat> Brian po, nandito po. Oh. So, uh, we thank you for all the help that you have been uh, giving us. And um, we pray for you, dear brothers and sisters. At bago tayo mag... Uh, bago tayo mag... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, end ng ating uh, misa again to end with this uh, photo of our Lord Jesus Christ who said that uh, he, re- <coughs> he resurrected from the dead at ipinikita yung kanyang mga sugat sa kanyang katawan so uh, again dear brothers and sisters our Lord Jesus Christ really uh, is the true God, the Son of God. At hindi po yung, uh, uh, yung isang uh, nag- nagsasabi na siya ay Son of God. Siguro alam na ninyo kung sino yun. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> now, dear brothers and sisters, uh, let us uh, bow our heads as we pray our as we pray our uh, closing. <clears throat> Blessings. The Redeemer has given you lasting freedom. May you inherit in his everlasting life. Amen. Amen. By the faith you rose with Jesus in baptism, may your lives be holy that you will be united with him forever. Amen. Jesus appeared to his disciples to strengthen their faith. May he strengthen your faith that you may witness to his resurrection in our daily lives. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and the Pranic Healing Foundation of the Philippines.